Okay. You will notice some similarities because this is a duffel bag and so the the standards or the, the idea of what a duffel bag shape and what it is kind of comes into play here, right? So here along the, there's the top where I'm gonna have the grommets and uh, the opening and then the, the drawstring. Uh, right here's where it's gonna be the handle. Uh, then there'll be the stitching lines to close it up and where there'll be uh, some reinforcement and uh, areas for clasps for a uh, shoulder strap. Uh, here's the bottom, some of the other elements. There's the, the place where the grommets are gonna go on the top. Each of these are one inch by one inch. Um, the top body is 12 inches tall. There's the, the base. It's going to be uh, a different, a uh, little bit stronger leather. And this is four inches tall. The straps that we're gonna use are all one inch wide. And what else? Oh, the, uh, the handle. So yeah, this is gonna be one inch, one inch wide and then three quarters uh, uh, three quarters width of an inch width here and then there's gonna be a wrap around it and that's three and a half by four so uh, using inches on this except for the hole punches uh, I just went with the standard um, you can use a one millimeter punch or one and a half and they are six millimeter uh, spacing between the holes and I'll include in the pattern there's a there's a page where you can test that just making sure you print everything at full size or actual size and uh, things will come out come out right and those lines and the little circle that's gonna help you um, you know uh, put everything together and know how it should be should be placed right so, as you can see, put them together and then tape them down so that everything is, is even and evenly placed. The lines line up and then the scissors with the circle also line up. So that's, gonna ha that's how you're going to uh, put everything together. Uh, there will also be uh, numbers, so you can see you know, that this is one big piece. Uh, the bottom uh, is also going to be one piece. The circle is going to be a piece, etc. So you'll see that on your pattern, and uh, it will be easier than uh, easier than to uh, put together and know where to each each page goes. Okay. What I'm going to do next uh, is uh, cut out the leather and tape these to the pieces of leather that I'm going to be using. Uh, I'm going to be using a, a blue, dark blue for the main body and then a dark brown for the base and the bottom circle uh, and a couple of the other, other elements here will be either the blue or the dark brown. Uh, it looked like a nice combination when I was going through my stuff. So uh, let's get to it. Then I went ahead and taped it to, um, taped it to the leather, so that I could start punching the holes. Um, I'm gonna be doing this one in a uh, dark blue and dark brown. Uh, I like that combination; it look nice. So yeah, I taped them all, taped all the pieces together. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure I label these kind of how I do here: you know, two A, two B, two C. So I'll have 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, etc. For, for all these pieces. Um, so you can see how they, I just taped them to the leather and punched and punched the holes. You can use either a one millimeter or 1.5 millimeter 
but the spacing is six millimeters spacing. Uh, typical for a lot of uh, patterns that are already out there. So I didn't feel like I needed to change that up and make you buy more tools. So I'm sure if you already have the six millimeter spacing with either one or one and a half uh, size punch, uh, then that's gonna work for you. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these out. You just cut along the line here and then um, I'll take it from there and show you how everything looks. All right, see you in a second. Okay, so I have them all cut out and kind of placed more or less where they're gonna go, just so you can get, you kind of get an idea. Um, yeah, so this one's gonna sit. This will connect the two seams, the side and that side, and then these will be where the uh, D rings are. The D ring here, here, here uh, for the straps. There'll be a D ring up here when that folds over on the inside. Um, here's the handle. I just have it kind of you know placed in here where it's going to be. Uh, this is going to this piece is actually going to be on the inside. I guess the take off. Uh, this will go on the inside. Uh, of of the bag and reinforce it so they'll go, they'll go for the handle will be reinforced here through here and onto the handle uh, which is going to go here and then here this is this will wrap the handle just to give it a little bit more of a grip but this way the handle will be reinforced from the base through the body onto the back side and it'll go up and so here to the handle as well so that's that's going to be the next thing uh, i also got the the bottom piece uh the the drawstring keeper and uh this will be for this will be for the the shoulder strap and i'll talk about the straps here in a little bit yeah, they're on the, the part of the pattern uh so i'll talk about that in a little bit but so I'm going to start off by, um, I need to skive down the, the bottom side here and then fold this over and stitch across. So I'm going to do that and probably then I'll move on to the base and stitch the, stitch the, the two sides together and then do the bottom. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit easier to do that way instead of trying to do the whole thing and then do, doing the bottom, uh, you know, the round part. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the top fold. Then I'm gonna start on the bottom here with the circle. Then I'll move on from there and show you what it looks like. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so like I said, I went ahead and folded this over and stitched the top. I left the last one um, unstitched because it's going to be part of the, the the three, one, two, three, right there, right? And then same thing on this one, the very last hole I did not stitch because it's going to be part of the three that go down when I put them together. But when I put the this seam with the other seam. Uh, I also went ahead and put i just stitched partially uh the the support let me fold over show you uh the support for the backing i just stitched around up around back down to to right here uh because once again this is going to be part of the base which i have over here so it's going to be part of this this is going to lay over the top it's going to go Brown, you're gonna stitch through this, then the blue, and then the, the backing. And you're just gonna sandwich that once we do the once I uh, start stitching the the base to the main body. Uh, also, like I you might have just seen, uh, so I started first. I ran a stitch through the middle, just the middle of the, of the three. You can see that here. Stitch this first. And then stitch the bottom to the base. 
and uh, I put, like you can see here, I put the bottom under this seam. If and I, I just like the the appearance. It's a purely aesthetic thing. Some people will uh, sandwich them together. Uh, you know, uh, for example, let's see, like um, like this. They'll stitch it. They'll they'll put the, the bottom and the base together like this. Some people go under. Some people go over. It it really is up to you. the The number of holes are the same, so uh, it's it really depends on how you like it. And I like how it looks. Uh, sitting this way. I don't have uh, a seam coming out over the top like I do here at the top. So uh, just that's that's my preference. So what I'm going to do next is um, I have the the places for the keepers here. Let's see. So I have this. This is going to go here. And if you if you're measuring this, I made the space in here slightly larger than the holes between here and here so that when you stitch them together this will have just enough space to put the D ring right so that it's you're not you're not it's not completely flat and you're trying to to squish some hardware in the same in there right so the same thing with with these you can see the holes are just a little bit longer between between here and here, and then this one and and you know, these four is a little bit smaller than this one. So this way it it uh, gives some space for that D ring. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these on here, put this one on here. And this one on here. I'm gonna stitch those, uh, and then uh, once I have these on, I'm going to go ahead and start stitching this to the body. And I'll probably glue this piece onto here, just so I have uh, a nice, nice spot to to. Uh, that I know is is fixed and I don't know if, if you guys do this and this is just a, a little tip that I do uh, I use thumbtacks so when I put stuff down and I glue stuff down um, I, I make sure that it fits you know all the way through this and whatever I'm gluing and I use the punch pad uh, then it holds it in place So there's that and then if I don't if I have stuff that I, I need to hold in place that um, I can't use thumbtacks then I I use these little like I'm not even sure what they're called like stitch keepers stitch holders hole placement punches, whatever uh, I use those uh, to hold stuff in place as well if I if I can't uh, use the thumbtacks and the punch pad. Uh, so, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and work on the, the base and uh, show you that. And then I'll start stitching it to the main body and we'll go from there. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and actually I uh, started by stitching the middle stitch of the three. And you can see the uh, the where it over the fold that I started with um, just folds over. You start with that first hole, and I stitch down all the way to almost the end because that's where I'm going to stitch the the bottom to the body. So that's done, and I also got the the keepers are uh, the the hooks where the shoulder straps uh, or backpack straps are going to go uh, with a little the D-rings. I use the uh, gunmetal black, I think is what the, the color of this is, just because I, it matches the the really dark, super dark gray thread that I've been using. So uh, and I also finished the threading 
uh, connecting the two pieces together of the base. So now what I'm going to do is you can see this piece here. I actually need to, like I said before, I need to bevel and burnish the edges of this real quick uh, before I attach it to to this side here. And so once once I'm done with that, I will I'm going to glue down this piece to this piece and in place and with some like I showed you before some of those stitch keepers or or thumbtacks or something like that I'm gonna uh, make sure that's glued down really well before I start you know, stitching the the base to the body and I'm just gonna run around the edge and like I like I said before, kind of like up with up here I'm just gonna come around and around the outside of this square and continue on because this middle section is going to be for the handle where the, the, the handle is going to be. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. Um, and I'll pick it up from there. Okay, so here we go, continuing on. So I finished stitching the seam, the left side and the right side. And it joins up down here with the, the D ring in the middle. And you see the, the three three stitches here. There's the one the one in the middle is just underneath, and you can see that. Um, if I look here on the inside, there's the three stitches. Okay. Now, so I, I the, this is to reinforce it. Uh, it gives a little bit of strength. I started working on the grommet uh, keepers, and they're just like I put in the notes. These are one inch by one inch, and there's four holes across, four down, and four across, and four back up. So pretty, pretty standard. I'm gonna finish putting those on, and then putting in uh, actual antique bronze. Actually, since I'm using this gunmetal black. Uh, hardware. I need to find some gunmetal black uh, grommets uh, to go along with it. So yeah, um, I also finished the handle. So you can see that uh, so it was stitched around the outside. This was stitched back and forth. This is uh, uh, glued down on the front and back to keep it in place. Um, and then also down here, as I stitched the base to the body, came up, up, around, down, and I continued on. And then when I did this piece, when I stitched this piece, I finished off the stitching down here below. So, um, yeah, so the, the handle piece is done. Uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it has a nice... Nice space for your for your handle to fit in there, but like I said, I'm going to finish up uh, these squares and the grommets, and I still need to put the drawstring, uh, get the straw drawstring uh, cut out, and I also need to finish up. That's a little dirty because of the little holes, but I need to stitch together the the shoulder strap piece. So the, the strap is going to be one inch wide. And so it'll fit perfectly in here. And if you use a one inch wide buckle, uh, that's, it'll fit just right. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to stitch this, finish up the, the, where the grommets go for the drawstring. And then I also need to cut out um, this, this actual straps and uh, get some hardware, some, some gunmetal black hardware. Okay, when I get that done, I'll, I'll come back. All right, bye. Okay, so I got the strap done and I got the, all the grommets and the drawstring, which is looking nice. And the little keeper here, also looking nice. Uh, so I wanted to explain how I how I came up with the, the length on these and these are just clasps 
with the swivel hook on it. Um, but so what I ended up doing is after I created this, the shoulder piece, um, I created the buckle end and the holes and then left out a longer piece uh, without doing the rivets. And so I measured from, you just put it on my shoulder, about how long from where this piece ends on my shoulder would would the, the top of uh, the duffel be on my back. And just guesstimated uh, that, you know, plus a couple inches for, for the clasp. And it ended up being from this point, wrapping around, all the way to the buckle and its wrap around um, 20 inches. Okay, so there's 20 inches there. And once I had that, um, I was able to actually put this piece with the buckle on my shoulder with bag and clasp and then uh, felt for kind of where that was gonna lie, you know, the bottom, uh, on my back, whether it was going to be too long and hit my butt or is too high and be in the middle of the back. So I took the longer to the next piece, punched out the holes and the end of it, put it on the buckle before finishing this piece here at the end and measured it with the duffel in place on where it was going to lie on my back and measured to here. Plus I, I estimated a couple inches for the clasp. So, and this, this piece ended up being 27. So from tip through the buckle down around, uh, with the, with the two rivets, uh, is 27 inches. And that ends up just being perfect for me. I'm a tall guy. And I, I ended, I put the buckle this far down because then I can adjust. I can, it can go, it can pull back if I need it longer, um, or I can. There's still a couple more holes if I need it shorter. So that's that's how I estimated the the uh, shoulder strap, the, well, the the shoulder strap and the clasps with this uh, blue piece, the kind of the shoulder pad. I guess I don't want to call it. Um, so that's that. If you want to make this into a backpack, all you have to do is make two of these. So a 20 inch uh, here for the buckle and then a 27 inch uh, longer piece for the bottom. And then you should take this attachment, take this attachment, there we go. And you attach it to one to the left and then another to the right. And then you'd have you know, straps. Shoulder shops for each, one for each. Uh, but I'm not going to do that for now. Okay. What I'm going to do now is kind of cinch this up a little bit so you can get a look at it closed uh, and some, some wider shots of it. Okay, hold on. Okay. So here it is closed up. Um... With the, you have the little keeper there, the drawstring keeper, handle, uh, reinforced the bottom with the base. Looking good. I love these colors. It's closed here in the back. With the seam. Seam comes down. The bottom there. Nice. And then you got the shoulder strap. Nice. And, uh, you know, you, even if you wanted to, instead of shoulder straps, you know, two of them for backpack, you use hook anything you want on there, like a water bottle or, you know, whatever. Uh, that's not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take some more pictures uh, just to show you how it looks um, outside. But, yeah, I hope you enjoy this pattern. And... Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If there's any bugs on it, let me know, like uh, mistakes. Love to help. Uh, any way to improve it would be awesome. All right. Thank you. Bye.